Hey guys, how's it going? You're very welcome back to more Pokemon Emerald Wedlock. In the last episode, we got three new Pokemon and came up with two pairs. So let's just, uh, let's just take a look at those. We have Hunter and Parry, the Lotad and Puchina. And we also have uh, Zigglypuff and Teal Game Master. So let's just switch uh, Teal and Zigglypuff to the front. I really need to train up Parry and Hunter, but there really hasn't. There's not really an opportunity. There will. I guess there is an opportunity, but it's going to be uh, kind of hard. So what I need to do is actually go to the uh, po uh, Pokemon. Well, I was about to say Pokemon Center. I need to buy some uh, potions and stuff. So let's get a few of those, and I need to get some Pokeballs while I'm at it. So let's get some uh, some of those, and we'll get about eight of these things. Seeing as we'll bring it up to a round number. Uh, I should have probably got ten so I could get a Premier Ball, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. So if you come over to this slip of paper here, you can actually unlock Mystery Gift by entering the uh, certain phrase that is Link, wherever it is, all the way down here. It's uh, there it is, Link over here. Uh, you enter the phrase Link together with all. So entering that will allow you to get Mystery Gift, and with Mystery Gift, you would be able to get like event Pokemon at uh, is it there was like certain events at, like I think GameStops and like Toys R Us or something I don't know what. Uh, it's linked together with all, so I don't know why I'm taking so long to do this. It's a very simple phrase to remember. I don't know why I'm like scrolling down either because it's quick to just do it this way. There we go. So link together with and then all, and uh, yeah, there it is up there. I saw it. There we go. So, link together with all, that is the phrase, and this guy says, Oh, hello, you must, you know those words? That means you must know about the mystery gift. From now on, you should be receiving mystery gifts. Once you save your game, you can access the mystery gift. Alright, so there we go. That's how you can get mystery gift in this game, for those who are ever wondering. And yeah, what we're going to do is make our way through the Petalburg Woods, and here we have Scott, who is actually the owner, or the person in charge of the Battle Frontier. So, I said already in the introduction that I will be doing the Battle Frontier, I will just be, uh, once I finish the Pokemon League, the wedlock is essentially over until I battle against Steven. So yeah, the wedlock is done then, and uh, we'll be doing the Battle Frontier, trying to get all the symbols and stuff. Probably only silver, I'll see if I can go for gold, but I think I'll mainly be going for silver. Anyway, we can get some new Pokemon on this route, and the Pokemon is going to be a Meryl! Sweet! So we have ourselves a Meryl, and that's a nice water Pokemon to get, so that's pretty sweet. I really hope it has the, uh... The prop, well, not the proper ability, but the better ability of uh, huge power. That would be pretty sweet, because that way I could actually use it quite a bit. It would be quite helpful. Anyway, uh, I think this thing is going to get like an obvious nickname right off the bat. We're going to call this thing Maryland or Maryland wise. What's Marietland? That's what I called him before, but I will call it Maryland because you know most Marils should be called Maryland. They just should. It's like it's almost like a law. It has to be called Maryland. And there we go. So, the first member of our new pair has been caught. We do have to catch a Pokemon in the, uh, in the Petalburg Woods. So, for right now, all we have is Maryland. I may be doing a, like, grinding session before the gym, I'm not sure yet, but we'll see. And that's Maric, uh, Maryland, uh, there we go. So, Maryland the Meryl, let's take a look at this thing. Hopefully it has a huge power, that would be pretty sweet. And it does have huge power, very, very nice. That's going to boost the attack stat. Well, it's going to like double its attack. So, technically this thing is like 14 attack. Anyway, what we're going to do is come down here and battle against this guy. So, yeah, we'll just uh, see what Pokemon he has. I believe he has a Zigzagoon and a Seedot. So, for the Seedot, I can go out into uh, Zigglypuff and uh, try and battle it. So, anyway, what we're going to do is just absorb this uh, Zigzagoon. We're going to take its soul and use it to restore our HP. Or something, I don't know how Absorb works, but I like to think it works that way, just like sucking the souls out of other Pokemon so they can't like, well, you, you make them faint eventually, so yeah, you just take their soul and that's it. Anyway, uh, Pound should finish, so I'll just go for that. This thing didn't even attack me, which is nice. And uh, yeah, we'll just go for a uh, Pound on this thing. And there we go. So, that's Zigzagoon defeated and 63 experience. Next up, we have ourselves a C Dot. So what we're going to do is go out into Zigglypuff. And my strategy for this is just to uh, constantly tail whip this thing. It can't actually attack me. It only knows the moves. Uh, by level 7, it should only know Growth, Harden, and Bide. So I can just continuously tail whip it. And uh, then we can move on. So let's just do that. And uh, it's using Bide right now. So we're going to get to the Lord's Defense by three stages, basically. And then we get to we get to tackle it. So I'm thinking a tackle from uh, after three tail whips should be a three-hit KO. Well, not three-hit KO, a two-hit KO. And uh, that would be pretty nice because, you know, we could 
weaken it down quite a bit. So let's just go for a tackle and see how much it does. And it does nearly a one hit kill, but that was a critical hit. So it probably did about half otherwise. And we'll just finish it with a tackle. It doesn't really matter because his seed on is dead. So there we go. Ziggly Puff takes on that very well. Gets a lot of experience too. And gets up to level 6, which is sweet. And there we go. So Youngster Billy is defeated. And uh, yeah. Alright. So let's just uh, switch our team around here. We're going to switch Hunter and Perry to the front. But I think we'll only use Hunter in this next battle because I believe this guy up here has a Magic Harp on level 9 that only knows Splash. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I think I'll just cut out this battle. It only knows Splash because it's on level 9. So I'm like going to cut this battle out because it will take forever. And I will see you guys when I get it done. So yeah, see you then. Alright, so there we go. Magic Harp is fainted. And uh, Hunter nearly gets up to level 5. I would have actually liked to get it to level 5. Just so uh, it would learn the move Howl, which would actually help me out quite a bit. But unfortunately, it didn't learn it. So, let's just grab these uh, berries here. I do need them, because I can't actually give them to my Pokemon. It'll actually help me. I never really use berries that much, but I think uh, giving them to my Pokemon will actually benefit me quite a bit. Because I can heal up. So, I can heal up in battle without using a potion, I guess. So, I do have uh, two Oran berries. I guess I am going to be using... Uh, I'm going to be using Teal and... Uh, and Zigglypuff in the next battle, but I'm just going to give these to uh, Hunter and Perry because I think they'd benefit more from having the berries than those two, than Teal and uh, Zigglypuff. So yeah, we're going to be using uh, Teal for this next battle because this person has a Zigzagoon and they do use a full restore on it. Yeah, that's right, a full restore at the uh, second town basically, so that sucks and that will heal it up to full HP and get rid of any status. If you're even able to get a status by this point, I don't think the only one you'd probably get is poison from like Wurple using Poison Sing or something. So yeah, the best uh, best option for me is to use Teal here and just uh, take this thing down eventually. As it goes for Tail Whip to lower my defense. Uh, yeah, it's, she's definitely going to use the full restore on the next turn unless I get a critical hit and just take it out without it getting the uh, full restore in, which I don't. So that sucks. Yeah, full restore. It sucks. I know it's. Like, right before the woods, this person pulled out a full restore of all items. Like, potion, fine. Super potion, alright. Hyper potion, maybe not as much. Max potion, definitely not. But full restore. Full restore, I mean. And there's another trainer as well, like, in the future that does it too. So, that is absolutely terrible. Anyway, uh, take out that Zigzagoon with a critical hit. And, uh, that's awesome. So, there we go. And Teal is almost on level 11, which is awesome. And yeah, she gives a lot of money too, so it's definitely beneficial to battle her, even though it takes it may take a while because she uh, heals up, but it's definitely worth your while. Anyway, what is our encounter here for the Pelberg Woods? It is a Pujana, which we already have, so Dupe's Claws is in effect here, and uh, we can catch something else should it appear. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. I guess not catching the same Pokemon again. Anyway, oh wow, just as much grab the item that's there. We get ourselves another Pujana, so... Again, that doesn't count towards my encounter. And because I need a uh, female Pokemon too, it wouldn't count. So, that's good. Uh, well, I guess I, I could end up getting something new. I'm kind of hoping a Taylor will pop up. Because Taylor would be rather nice. Uh, or even, well, maybe Slack off not as much in a, in a wedlock. So I wouldn't, like, loafing around could really hurt me rather than uh, benefit me, I guess. Even though it's massive attacks, that would be definitely beneficial. Uh, anyway, we're going to switch the team around quite a bit. We're going to lead off with, uh, we're going to lead with Hunter and Perry. I'm going to lead with, uh, Perry, I'm uh, not Perry, I'm going to lead with Hunter instead because Hunter is nearly on level 5, and it will learn Howl on level 5, and this guy here only has 3 Wurmples, so he's, uh, pretty easy, to, or he has 4 Wurmples, so he's pretty easy to take on, and it could be easy for me to get my Pokemon up to, like, level, uh, well, get it up to level 5 at least so it'll learn Howl. I could start setting up and just, like, start sweeping. So let's go with the tackle and see what it does, and that is not a lot, but this thing is string shot, as most Wurmples do, and that pretty much just lowers your speed by one stage. He's probably going to outspeed me now and get to hit me with tackle. Yeah, it's pretty much expected, but he's not doing that much damage to me, so I'm pretty sure I will take him out first. I will probably get a level up from beating this Wurmple, and then uh, when the next Wurmple comes out, I can just start setting up with howls and stuff, and uh, just start sweeping this guy's team with the Poochiena. Because that's what I do. I go in, I sweep with Puchiana, and that is just the way it goes. So, yeah, let's continue on, I guess, and uh, eventually get our Puchiana sweep. 
and that tackles a little bit more than the last one. I guess he got like min-max damage on the first one, but it's fine. Anyway, there we go, level 5 for Hunter. And she learned the move Howl. Imagine like, I uh, imagine like a Pugena just like standing there and howling at you, and it's like, wow, that Howl actually made its attack go off higher. That doesn't make sense, but anyway, yeah, we're just going to set up some Howls. Uh, that's what I like about Pugena. I mean, it's not the greatest Pokemon. I actually like really like my Diana and Pugena design-wise, and because... I like played Pokemon Emerald before I went through the game and Poochyena, well Mightyena, was actually like one of my best Pokemon because it, it's really helpful against uh, the 7th Gym Leader, it's also helpful in the Elite Four too, so yeah Mightyena is not that bad, I mean the only problem I guess is that uh, Dark type moves are special in this game, so that sort of hinders you quite a bit, It does not. it's more of a physical attacker than a special attacker, so yeah that's that's probably the only hindrance I have with Poochyena, or the only, uh, the only discrepancy, I guess I can say, I have with Poochyena. Otherwise, I think it's a pretty decent Pokemon. Obviously, uh, for competitive use, it's terrible, but in-game, I think it could be... It's kind of... I wouldn't say it's underrated, I guess. It's just people don't tend to use it, which is actually why I'm glad I got one, but either way. I would have... Uh, if I was... I was like... Um, yeah, if I was going to do like a regular playthrough of... Uh, playthrough of Emerald, I would be getting a Poochyena anyway, because I really like my Diana, as I've already said, so... Yeah, that's just my stance on it, I guess. And I probably should have went for another Howl, because it would have... Well, I don't know if you heard that, like... I, like, punched my controller in rage. No, I didn't. I... My, like, my... Thi my... The, the, my... My... The, 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 I can't speak. It's so hot outside. Like, I'm, I'm speaking in tongues. It's so hot outside. I'm like... I don't know what's happening. Now, uh, my fingers brushed off against it, and it sort of clacked, so I'm sorry if you heard that. Very unprofessional. I should sound removal that, but I'm pretty sure that won't work, so. Anyway, there we go. Wurple defeated, and that gets up Hunter to level 6, so two levels in this battle for Hunter, which is nice. And, uh, yeah, she's going pretty strong. Need to use Perry a bit more, though. Perry's, uh, falling a bit behind. So, we get a wild battle. What Pokemon is it going to be? It is going to be a Cascoon. It's a Sil- yeah, it's Cascoon. I don't know why I said it was Silicon, it was Cascoon. And, uh, this Cascoon is a male, which means I don't have to catch it because I need a female Pokemon. So, sorry about your damn luck, Cascoon, but you're not getting caught. And, uh, let's see. So, I'm actually gonna switch Teal to the front, and we're gonna switch it up. So, Zigglypuff and Teal can take it to the front, and Hunter and, uh, Perry can relax, even though Perry hasn't been used in a while. Really needs to use Perry more, but, hmm. Not one to be found. Hello, have you seen any Pokemon called Shroomish around here? I really love that Pokemon. This guy loves mushrooms. <laughs> I was gonna ambush you, but you had to dawdle into Petalburg Woods forever, didn't you? I got sick of waiting, so here I am. You, Devon Researcher, hand over those papers. Aye! You're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? You gotta help me, please. Huh? What do you think you're doing? What, you're gonna protect him? No one across this Team Aqua gets any- No one across this Team Aqua gets any mercy, not even a kid. Come on, battle me. Alright, so here's our first battle against the villainous team. This is Team Aqua, and they primarily use Poochyena and water types. That's it. And Zubats. They also like their Zubats. But, yeah, this should not be too much of a problem for our incredibly powerful Trico, even though it's not, like, insanely powerful. But that absorbed a decent damage, so I'm thinking about a 4-hit KO at max, judging by that damage, so that's not bad. Unless we get a critical... Actually, maybe it's a 3-hit KO. No, it's a 4 hit. I'm pretty sure that's 4 hits, unless you get a crit. And this thing does have Sand Attack, which will lower accuracy. That absolutely blows, because I hate Sand Attack. And it's, yeah, it's a really annoying move. So, there we go. Got a critical hit. Wow, it was a 3 hit kill. Not bad. And that's going to get Teal Game Master up to level 11. And it will learn the move Quick Attack at this level, so that's very nice. And there we go, we get Quick Attack. So, not too shabby at all. I need to beat the Aqua Grunt. You're kidding me, you're tough. No, well, yeah, I guess I'm alright. I'm doing good. I'm doing pretty okay. Grr, you got some nerve wrestling with meddling with Team Aqua. Come on and battle me again. I wish I could say that, but I'm out of Pokemon. And hey, we of Team Aqua are also after something in Rustboro. I'll let you go today. Uh, okay. Phew, that was awfully close. Thanks to you, he didn't rob me of these important papers. I know, I'll give you a great ball as my thanks. So yeah, get a lot of, like, early items. Get a lot of items early in this game, which is cool. Like a great ball. And we will be getting another item in just a second that's actually pretty decent for where we are in the game. Anyway, we're going to stick with Teal at the front, because we do have this person here who has Ninkata, but we're going to see what Pokemon we get, and it is a Poochyena, so it doesn't count, and, like, we're getting no females, which is sort of annoying, so, 
Yeah, I would like to find something really quick. And uh, that would be pretty helpful. But we're going to take on this guy who has an Inkata. Uh, he has two Inkata, I believe. And uh, yeah, they're part ground, so using grass type attacks is actually neutral on them. So Absorb should do about a third of damage to them, which is not too bad. So yeah, let's just do that. Go for Absorb and suck up some of this Ninkata's soul. And that does over half, which is nice. So that's a 2 hit KO. That's always something good to see. It's using Harden, which doesn't matter. Ninkata is actually pretty defensive. But if you have, like, Torchic, you should get through here with no problem at all because it is a forest and it will have bug type. So using moves like Ember will definitely help you out. And you'll get through here with a breeze, or like a breeze, I guess, because it would be very, very easy. Anyway, Ninkata again coming out, and uh, we'll just absorb. And yeah, I think for the wedlock, I'll be doing decently lengthy episodes, because I do have to think about this a lot more, I guess, strategically than a uh, Nuzlocke, because I do have to switch around and stuff. So, there we go, take out that Ninkata, and that's not too bad at all. So there we go. And Teal is going to get to level 12. So yeah, Teal is sort of walking away with levels, which is not too good. So I do need to use other Pokemon as well. I do need to train up my other Pokemon too. So I better get started on that, even though Teal is pretty much like the uh, the main thing I have to combat stuff here. Anyway, it looks like we don't get an encounter for uh, Viridian or not Viridian for that uh, Petalburg Woods. But uh, we will get some... We'll go back in against... We have to go back in anyway, so... I guess I could look for a Pokemon in there. I'm really hoping I can get a Taylor though. Taylor would be really helpful for the second gym. And uh, if I don't get one, that would be pretty bad. So, let's head in here. And uh, if we talk to this lady all the way over here, I believe she will give us the Whalmer Pail, which will help us uh, help us with the uh, uh, berries. I'll say flowers, but help us with berries. And uh, yeah, that's pretty sweet, I guess. So, we can plant berries. I guess I could like plant orange berries if I find... Well, there's some outside there, but... If I plant orange berries, I could like get them for when I need to heal on my Pokemon. But I mean, uh, you get enough stuff. You get a lot of healing, uh, healing items already, and I do have seven potions. So yeah, we're we're doing pretty fine healing wise. And uh, let's see. So if we come up here, we're gonna get ourselves another potion, I believe. And this uh, route is actually the same as the one down by Petalburg. So this does not count as my encounter. We've already caught the uh, we've already caught Maryland, so it doesn't count. I'm afraid. And, uh, right here we have ourselves a Pokeball. There's actually, like, uh, a load of hidden items here, I think, or there's, like, two hidden items. Right here we have ourselves a Potion. And, uh, right above that, to the right, we have ourselves a Super Potion. So, yeah, a lot of items to be picked up back here. Uh, is there anything over here? Nope. And, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna skip through this battle because it's a Meryl. And I don't need to battle it because, yeah. Well, I could, I could get a female Meryl, but again, it's the same route. So, have ourselves a nice little Meryl couple. Unfortunately, we can't do that, so, let's see, uh, I think I'm gonna use Zigglypuff, but I'm gonna switch out to Teal in the next battle, just to level up Zigglypuff a bit, and here is the other guy with the other Zigzagoon, that will use a, uh, he, he well, he will have a full restore, and he's, he just accepts our challenge, because he has a lot of money, it's like, sure, I have a lot of money I can give you after you win, why not battle? Alright, so, he has a Zigzagoon, a level 7, and we're just gonna go to Teal, Game Master, and I'm just gonna speed this up because this will probably, it's pretty much like the same as the last battle with the uh, other rich girl, or well, this guy's a rich boy, but yeah, it's the same thing, we're just gonna absorb, and he's gonna probably full restore now, which, alright, he didn't full restore, that's good, alright, there we go, that wasn't too bad, he didn't, we didn't take him down enough HP to full restore, so that's good, but yeah, this is Rich Boy Winston, and uh, in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, or Ruby and Sapphire, this is Emerald, but in Ruby and Sapphire, uh, the lady is actually there, and he's back outside Pelleberg Woods. Anyway, I think I probably should have switched my Pokemon around, but I guess it's too late now. And, uh, yeah, I really need to train up Hunter and, uh, my other Pokemon. So, Lotad here on level 6. And, uh, what we will do is actually battle this thing with Zigglypuff, because this thing can't do anything to me. It only has Astonish, so, and it has Growl, but we can just weaken down its defenses. And I'll just speed this up, because again, it's only going to be using Growl, so I may as well just start tackling it now. And I'll stop this from going any further, I guess. So let's just keep going with that. And, uh, there we go. Almost done. One more tackle. There we go. Awesome. Take that out. And get up to level 7 with Zigglypuff, who I believe learns Headbutt on level, is it level 8, maybe? I think? Uh, I'm not sure. Anyway, next up we have a Shroomish. Gonna stay with Zigglypuff. 
And then we will switch out into uh, teal and just go for like leer and then pound and stuff. So let's just uh, do that. I can't do anything to teal, so I'm just gonna speed it up again because I want to get through this sort of quickly. Been recording for quite a bit, 20 minutes now, so I want to get through this uh, before too long, I guess. Don't want to waste your guys' day. Anyway, a uh, quick attack to it KO, not too much shabby. And uh, I think it'll still to it KO. Yes, it will. There we go. 40 experience for Zigglypuff and for Thing. And for thing, for uh, yeah, um, <laughs> I forgot it for uh, teal. Wow, all right, so let's switch parry and hunter to the front. This battle is actually gonna be quite difficult because I really only have well, I do have uh, yeah, I, I should be fine, I should be able to train them up against these guys here. So I'm just gonna use a potion because I have nine, so yeah, I have plenty of those things, don't need to worry. And we have ourselves. A new mechanic that was introduced in Generation 3, the double battle. Because if you remember in Generation 2 in Pokemon Crystal, when we battled against twins, we only battled uh, one Pokemon at a time. But this time we're battling two, and it's a C-Dot and Lotad. Again, C-Dot can only use Bide, so what I can do is actually Growl and Howl, which rhymes, <laughs> conveniently enough. Yeah, I can just like set up and stuff in their faces, and uh, yeah, it's not going to, well, it did enough to uh, parry there, but... I'm going to take out the Lotad first, and then I can just like work my way around the C-Dot. And we flinched, which sucks. I'm actually going to start attacking the Lotad now. Even though I do have Berry on my, uh, on my thing, on my, on my Lotad. Wow, I need to remember the Pokemon so much, but I can't. Uh, because I have a Berry on my Lotad. I'm not afraid of it dying, even with the critical hit. The Berry will give it back 10 HP, unless it gets taken out, which I really hope it doesn't. But using Growl on this thing is going to, using Growl on these things is going to weaken the power of Astonish. So, yeah, it's really sort of beneficial that I use these guys here, try to level them up a bit, and uh, eventually take on this C dot. So, we'll just keep can continue to growl, and we're going to attack the low tide again because we missed. Great, well, not because we missed, but it'll unleash energy, but it has no energy to unleash because we did just growl and uh, howl a lot. So, yeah, that's pretty much... The strategic battle here. I was kind of worried if I could get to use these guys, but luckily I do get to use them. I was really worried about Perry, because Perry could help a lot in the gym, in the next gym, and uh, I would like to like take on the gym leader and whatever, and uh, get through it pretty quickly. So I'm pretty sure Astonish will finish off the uh, the other Lotad. This thing keeps using Harden though, so I'm going to have to set up a lot of howls in its face. And we flinch, which, way to go Perry, just flinching, yeah, that's awesome. Flinch right in front of that other low tad. Show your suprem well, show your non supremacy, I guess. Uh, we're gonna growl again, and we're gonna tackle. And there we go. So take out that low tad. Not too shabby at all. Perry gets to level five. Awesome stuff. And uh, I wish I kind of leveled up Perry a bit more because I could have, uh, I could have uh, had it learn absorb, which would have been decent against that other low tad because I could have actually done decent damage. But now I'm gonna have to set up howls in this face and growl it a bit while it's using bide. Because if I don't attack it, it can't unleash energy, and it can't more than likely kill one of my Pokemon, because Bide is a very powerful attack. I'm actually very weary of Bide, because it takes up energy every turn, and it will unleash with a massive amount of power. So it's better to just like start weakening this thing down with like, Tail Whips or stuff, if you have Tail Whip. And uh, yeah, this is the first time... I just realized it's like the first double battle, and I don't know why I howled again, but whatever. Uh, it's like the first double battle, so... The first uh, dosage of teamwork in the uh, wedlock, and Gray's using Bite again, so I have to use Growl, and yeah, it sucks. So Howl up again. I'm I don't know what we're at now. He must be at like plus five maybe from all the stuff. It's at it's at it's at very low attack. So again, I'm just gonna Howl right up in its face, and that's pretty much all I can do because I don't want to attack it and have it unleash its energy on me, which would be horrible. Really wish I had like a Tail Whip or something, so I could weaken its defense and pretty much negate those Hardens. So, uh, I think it tried to unleash energy and it fails, so now we can start attacking it once again. And, uh, Howl-based tackle, or boost tackle did barely anything, wow. As it's going for Harden, so... Yeah, this is... Z-Dot is really annoying, because, uh, yeah, you know, like, if you're doing a Nuzlocke, it's pretty hard, because you don't want to risk, like, doing something terrible. Really hoping we can get the Flinch Axe, and we do, great, so that's pretty much sealed the battle, that's good. Flinch Axe at the perfect time, way to go, Perry. And uh, that should finish it off. Yes, it does. See, that took a while, but, you know, we get Perry up to level 6, which is awesome. And uh, we don't get Hunter to level 7, but, again, Perry got up 2 levels, so it's definitely worth it in the long run. Anyway, 
Now that we defeated those, we are pretty much at Rustboro City. So what we're going to do is grab these two cherry berries, which heal paralysis, which is also very nice. And we're going to grab uh, these two lepa berries, which actually give you 10 PP back on a move. So it's basically like getting an ether. So that's very nice as well. If you talk to this old lady, she'll give you a random berry. I think she'll give a pomeg berry or something. Uh, it's a chestnut berry. Okay, they give random berries sometimes. I'm pretty sure she gives like a pomeg berry sometimes too. But there we go. A chestnut berry, which uh, heals up. Uh, well, it wakes you up. It's like an awakening. A very another, uh, well, and a very another, another very nice item. There's an X defend, which increases your defense for one, uh, one, well, until you switch out. So, again, not too bad. And I think with all that's said and done, I'm gonna wrap it up here in the next episode of Pokemon. I was about to say Crystal, Pokemon Emerald Wetlock. We are going to, um, I haven't really decided yet. I think we'll explore Rustboro, and I think. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I can go to the gym yet. I do need to get Maryland a partner, actually, as well. So, yeah, we're going to head up to the next route, I guess, and uh, battle some trainees up there. So, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys for more shortly enough. So, catch you then.